You might remember I had a plan uh, for to adapt the AEB water pump, the original 1.8 uh, turbo water pump to the 944, uh, but the the thermostat housing and inlet tube, which mounts on the on the bottom here, um, was in the way of the of the steering shaft, and uh, I have the the manual power steer or the manual steering. In, in my car. So I came up with an idea for a little adapter plate that would kind of relocate uh, the, the inlet housing instead of putting down, turn it around and point it up. And it could be like a two machined piece of, of aluminum with a little cavity in it. I made a 3D print and kind of uh, mocked out the idea. I was overall pretty happy with it, but I'm like, you know, I should make sure that it also clears a power rack because not only might there be cars out there with power steering, but a lot of people have their power steering deactivated as well. But the power steering rack um, the, where the shaft comes out is an inch taller because the power steering rack U-joint uh, shaft is an inch shorter than the manual steering one. So I put in a power rack in the U-joint for that and found that even with my adapter, uh, it, it doesn't fit. There's not enough clearance. So I kind of went back to the drawing board and um, decided, I was using the old pump, I'm like, gee, what if I um, somehow block off the, uh, the hole where the, the, this, you know, the inlet housing, what the thermostat housing went, and just put in a nipple, uh, kind of point it upward, then I could attach my radiator hose uh, to that. And you know, if I made like a like a block off plate, you know, on the bottom, I could seal it off and then have the the water lin inlet upward, right? So that the water pump is here, it sucks from here. So the uh, the way it's supposed to work is is the water pump sucks from the the back inlet, which comes from the uh, the oil cooler and the heater core and the the back of the the head. Um, and then as the thermostat starts to open, it starts sucking in cooler water from the radiator, which gets mixed into the flow and sent into the block this way. And then of course, when the thermostat is all the way open, uh, you're getting most of your water through here and just a little bit of water kind of from a suction or venturi effect coming from here because this is a bigger, bigger opening. So if you ran without a thermostat, you would just you know primarily pull from here. So I put this nipple on, which would be kind of running without a thermostat and you know pulling water in, uh, which I think is totally a valid solution and uh, will work just fine and will fit in my application, but it doesn't have a thermostat, um, which uh, you know for a track car, or racing car, isn't uh, that big a deal. You just have to wait for you know give it a few minutes for the the whole system to warm up. Um, but then I started doing a little research. And I found another solution. It turns out you can get an inline thermostat housing, which is two machined parts and a gasket, and it allows you to put a thermostat in line. Um, so I was able to do a little machining work to machine off the uh, kind of the the little rib there for the pipe, and I was able to weld uh, one of these housings onto the side of the water pump, which gives me a place to put my thermostat, which um, the thermostat, the, the heating element, or the element, the temperature sensing element is the little cylinder in the spring, so you have that on the, the downward side, because again, because inside the pump is going to be the, the hot, you know, the water as it warms up, the hot water circulating from the engine, and then as that uh, opens up, it's going to open up the little valve and then be able to suck water from the radiator. So this way I can have a thermostat that's, uh, uh, you know, kind of right in line, right next to the pump there, so it will heat up with the water in the pump. And I can have it in a, in a housing that's right here that clears my uh, steering shaft for either manual steering or power steering. Again, I'll, I'll use a, a little aluminum block off plate with an O-ring where the original thermostat went. And then this is a, a solution utilizing the AEB water pump with, um, with a thermostat and uh, to, with an inlet that's pointed in a somewhat good direction. I can use a 90 degree elbow coming off of this 
and go to the, the bottom of the radiator, which is where it sucks water in. So this is a, a good solution. I'm really happy with this. And um, I think ultimately it's still going to be less than, uh, than buying an electric water pump. Um, I've seen different uh, brands of electric water pumps in the 250 to $400 range. Um, where this uh, this housing from Summit Racing was about 60 bucks and uh, a little bit of machine time to machine the water pump housing um, and the the rib off the nipple and a little bit of welding time and then uh, I have to price out what it's going to be to to manufacture uh, an aluminum block off plate but uh, you know maybe it's in the you know 40 or 50 dollar range it kind of depends on the quantity but um, you know, I might be able to you know to modify this for you know hundred dollars of parts as opposed to buying an electric pump and then having to wire it up. If you have an electric pump, you still need some sort of um, um, adapter plate. Um, you know, under the alternator here is the inlet port in the block, right? So even if you have an electric pump, you have to be able to force the water into that hole. So with an electric pump, you're still looking at some custom parts. So I think this is a, a pretty good solution. Here's a view from the front, just so you can see it from a, from a different angle. And then, uh, then more from the side. So definitely plenty of clearance there.